back to the channel um, where you get to watch me build a Minimax 1100R with a Volkswagen Half VW modification at the nose. Um, yesterday was big stuff. I mean, we got this, uh, we got this tail um, all epoxied together. So now I'm going to get all the clamps off and get the steel bars put away, and then we will be uh, able to go to the next step, which is. Uh, which is really cool. We're gonna put the, the two inch, uh, the same material that's here, the two inch mahogany on the uh, top side. And first I'll cut the, uh, there's some diagonal cross members that go in here. We'll cut those first and get those positioned so that when we get the plywood on, we'll just be able to clamp those up underneath there. Um, it'll, once the plywood is stapled on, let me say that differently. It'll, it'll give me something to clamp the other two real easily. So. Um, and then there are some diagonal braces, so they go across to here, from corner to corner. And um, we'll get, uh, uh, we'll work on that, probably cut a bunch of uh, plywood triangles that go in here um, against those uh, uh, bulkheads, and we'll probably work on that as well. So, um, yeah, so let me get these clamps off and we can uh, keep going. So I've got, uh, I had pre-cut this uh, five inch piece uh, of plywood. It's a birch ply. And uh, this actually goes on both the uh, inside and the outside. on the inside and the outside and I'll have some glue to clean from the inside but since we're turned this direction we're going to get this one in place and it's basically going uh, square to the back here I'm going to mark that Check it real quick from the front edge as well. Just see how far back that is. It needs to be about there because the, the back of this actually has to get flushed up. Uh, I'll do that with my belt sander as well when I get to that get to that point. Um, so let's say we make this about 13 sixteenths. So that's about measurement was wrong. Let's try that again. 13 sixteenths. 
All right. I said it right. I just didn't set it. I said it right. I just didn't set it right. 13. There we go. Good back here. All right, we can cut that out. And then we should be able to do the inside of the bottom here, but I think I'm going to wait until I flip the whole thing over before I do that. I'm only going to do the uh, bottom of the bottom. If you remember, I got a little confused last yesterday when I had the top piece in the bottom and the bottom piece in the top, and that was messing everything up. And, but we got that worked out, so now we're going to... Uh, I'll get this cut. I want to get this epoxy in place before I do these pieces. Um, and I wanted to mention too that uh, I uh, I have one more one more sheet of uh, full length plywood. These um, are supplied in the kit as. Uh, I believe they come in uh, 96 inch length, um, this inch and a half wide. Um, I need that piece for my fuselage top and I need the full width so I can't cut off of that. Um, so what I'm gonna actually do is uh, I'm gonna splice again. And so I will, I'll make this piece that curves all the way to here. Uh, I'll make that separately and then what I'll do is I'll make a I'll make a long piece about to here from from five to seven, and then um, I'll make a short piece from seven, and I'll just center it up on my pieces here, and then I'll go from seven to here, and then when I do the other side, I'll actually stagger it. So I'll go I'll make the long piece from from here to there, and then I'll do the short piece there. So. Uh, and I think that will uh, that'll work just fine, uh, as long as I get centered up on those uh, cross members, uh, everything will be fine. And uh, so I have I've got a piece that I can use to make those out of. And um, yeah, I just don't want to go and buy a, a whole another two by eight piece just to cut those uh, four pieces out of. So. Uh, so I will, I'll splice it together. Okay, um, yeah. So I will uh, get, kind of get those, I'm gonna get those cut and then we can uh, kind of clamp this in place and uh, the back piece, I'll get that cut and shaped and then we can clamp it into place and then we can fit everything else and once we get everything kind of set up and again, I have to go back and I'm gonna make these cross members that go in here. Um, as well that that go from across this way uh, yeah but you'll see all that so all right so now I've got that one uh, got that one in place uh, it's just kind of just sitting there it's, it's barely hanging on but it'll stay there for a minute now I'll just go ahead and get the rest of these uh, sized out and uh, get those cut <clears throat> and uh, yeah and then um, then we'll start working on the uh, start working on the, the plywood pieces here. All right. All right. This next thing to do is to get this uh, inch and a half pieces on, and because of the uh, the fact that we curve from here to uh, station five, I believe it is, um, uh, we curve to there. 
in order to get this to curve, you actually have to make a couple of cuts in it. And I'll just do that with the bandsaw. That'll relieve it enough to uh, for it to flex in. So I've got to go from here to there. And so I just kind of picked a couple of middle points um, right here. About This is about the middle, halfway distance between these two. And so I just kind of made a couple of guesses here as to where I'm going to go. And um, now I'll just make some uh, a couple of cuts. And I, what I did is I, I drew a three-quarter inch section here. So I don't want to cut into that because that's going to be against the, uh, uh, it keeps it outside. We fit uh, flush up against here and uh, I'll make those two cuts and then I'll, uh, I'll come back and we'll try it out and see how well it curves. That allows me to uh, bend this. And now I have no problems uh, making this curve here. I think it might benefit from one more cut, actually. Uh, probably in this region up here. So I think it's gonna need a third one. Kind of starts off straight actually. Starts off straight right there. Then it starts to curve. I think that's actually fine. That looks like it's gonna make it, so um if anything, I might consider a third one down here actually. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make a third one here instead of up here because it starts out a little bit straight and then it starts to curve. So, I'm just going to make a third cut. Alright, let's try that again. Okay, that works out much better. That's what I needed. Alright, so I'm going to actually, um, I need to get this first piece um, glued on before I can establish the, uh, the next um, piece. So, uh, so I'm going to do that on, on both sides here. So I'm just mixing up some epoxy to get that done and so let's uh, let's knock those two out and then we can uh, size up the next piece All right, so I got those on now. Um, you can see here how that uh, worked out. Those uh, little slots allow it to make that uh, curve. Now I'm just gonna take a little, uh, a little piece of uh, plywood um, and uh, I'll put it under each one of these locations here. And, and I've actually had to, for some reason, I guess maybe the mahogany was a little bit stiffer. I actually had to cut a couple of others on the other side. So I actually have uh, five on that side. So I'll make some, uh, make five little, uh, little blocks and uh, we'll get those uh, epoxied and clamped in place real quick. And then I can, uh, uh, then I can go ahead and fit up from here uh, back to, um, all the way back to the, this plywood. So I'm gonna get this plywood epoxied on uh, right now so then I can fit this piece in between uh, without any trouble so all right let me uh, let me get to that 
All right, so uh, yeah, um, as always, um, hey, I'll catch you later.